go. Oh man, let's open this up. More recovery gear for the runner's knee. And Onward and upward, onward and upward. Okay, uh, two, two boxes arrived uh, today and one of them was definitely an impulse buy. That's this one. The other one is for the running injury. So hopefully you can see me open up that skylight. Uh, so this one though was totally an impulse buy. I could not resist and I justified it. Hold on, let me get something to open this up with. Uh, I justified it as motivation for 2021 okay so if you remember what i said a couple days ago the marathon that i'm interested in in 2021 here we go shout out to running warehouse for getting this to me nice and fast oh i couldn't resist oh there it is boston marathon boston marathon hat oh with the hold on whoa over the eyes one second there we go with the blue and yellow the classic colors of the boston marathon so total impulse buy total i saw it on running warehouse and i was like i gotta get it i gotta get it so this will be my motivation to uh stay healthy train smart in 2020 so that we can uh go onward and upward to boston massachusetts for the 2021 boston marathon okay not this year not this year all right off we go we're going to pick up some uh recovery gear that I have been using uh, at the physical therapy office. And yes, we're gonna talk about how running is a gift. Running injuries, oh yeah, running is a gift. Running injuries are a gift. Bye, Michael. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh man, precious. We're not messing around. We're not messing around now. Oh man. Okay, here we are. We got the bag of goods to try and work on this runner's knee. And back at the house, I'm gonna talk about how running injuries can be a gift. I'll, I'll explain back at the house but my little mental strategy that I use for getting through running injuries, and it's probably been, well, it's probably been about seven months since the last major running injury that I really brought this up, is that I approach the injuries as if I'm preparing for a peak race. Now, you know, if you get into the, the dream race, the bucket list race, you're gonna do everything in your power, everything with the time that you have to prepare as best as possible to arrive on the starting line as fit, fresh, and healthy as possible. Well now, because of my runner's knee, I can't arrive on the Houston, I, I, well I could, but I decided not to arrive on the Houston Marathon uh, starting line at all. Therefore, all this time where I'm not out running, I'm not, um, uh, yeah, well, I'm not out running, or I'm not traveling to go uh, run in the mountains. I have a little extra time on my hands to take that time and apply it to uh, figuring out how to get rid of the runner's knee. Rem reminding myself that it's a tendon. Tendons can take time. I've got to be patient. But uh, based on the research I've done, talking to the doctor, 
talking to the physical therapist, talking to the massage therapist, that there are steps that I can take to not, I don't want to say expedite the healing process, but make sure the healing process is actually happening um, on schedule. So that's how I approach running injuries is use that mental um, approach of, okay, the race is out, the peak race is out. Now I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm going to troubleshoot and put the pieces together in the puzzle to make this running injury go away as quick as possible. Okay, here we go. On to the gym. Yes. Oh, this is one of the pieces. Instead of sitting on my couch, going to the gym. Hold on. Where are my keys? There they are. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I'm a I'm, I'm checking out a new gym, Chuz, Chuz, <laughs> Chuz, that's going to make True Love laugh, uh, Choose Fitness, and I am interested in a new gym because some new uh, equipment that they have in there that my old gym does not have. I'm not saying I'm going to switch right now. Also, it's free seven-day trial, and they've got a hot tub. All right, come on. Enough, enough said. Enough said. I don't know, that new gym is pretty interesting. So, where did I spend most of my time? Stretching in the steam room. They have a steam room at Chuz. So there's a good chance uh, because of my knee, I might be leaning toward Chuz. We shall see. All right, remember that first box that arrived today? Let me grab it real quick. Here we go. Oh man, let's open this up. More recovery gear for the runner's knee. and. Uh, if you are suffering from runner's knee out there or have suffered, maybe you've used this item before to help with your recovery. I'm excited. Let's uh, pull this out here. Oh man. Oh, it's kind of heavy actually. Okay. There we go. There we go. So I need to put it together. It's not assembled. Oh, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? There it is. It's a slant board. So out of all of the pieces of gear, and you all have sent me a lot of pieces of gear for me to try to help get rid of this runner's knee. This was recommended the most. I mean, at least, I wanna say at least eight people said I have to get one of these slant boards. So hold on, let me just see. Oh, there it is. Okay, so then, oh, that's easy. Oh my goodness. So let me just put this like that. And then it's got a little pin here. Wow, that was incredible. I thought I was gonna have to pull out the screwdriver. So then you've got these pins here to hold it in place. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. That's incredible. All right. So I'm actually, um, I'm actually going to put it up a little bit. So look at this. It's adjustable. So different heights or sorry, I should say different angles. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to put it on the second one for starters. Just put it like that, put it like that and hold on. Okay. So I know the camera's a little ways off there, but the slant board is, you can use it in different ways, but one way is simply calf stretches. Okay. And the angle of the slant is not very uh, steep right now. So I can't feel that stretch too, too much, but that's one just simple way. And I have heard that uh, tight calves can lead to runner's knee if they're really, really tight. Um, but uh, let me, well, just to show you, let me just bump this up one more. There we go. We'll put it like that for now. So this is the third from the highest level and for runner's knee and patella, patella tendonitis is the more official term. Whoa, wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to tie my shoes. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Shoes are tied and I have uh, had this approved by my physical therapist. I had to ask him just to see if I could do this and he gave the thumbs up. So you're going to stand on it like this and the trick is that you want to keep your knees right over your toes. You don't want your knees going way out in front. And so what it is, it's a, rever it's a squat, uh, but you're on this, uh, you're on this uh, slant and that is the key. And again, I, I'm not going to get into all the science behind why the slant is critical for runner's knee for this uh, squat. 
Um, and you want to start very, very slowly. So with tendons, what I have learned is that uh, pain, a little bit of pain is good. Uh, sorry, well, I shouldn't say good, but is okay when you're trying to rehab runner's knee. Uh, they say about a two to three, definitely no more than a four on the pain scale, and I realize everyone's pain scales uh, vary. Uh, and so during my physical therapy over the past 10 days, it's been hovering right around a two or a three, I would say. So I feel good about adding the slant board into the rotation and low reps early. So I'm gonna do 10 tonight and that's it. But eventually you wanna work your way up to three sets of 10. Um, again, talk to your physical therapist, talk to your doctor, um, and then uh, you can work up to as many as, well, from what I've read, up to three times a week with three sets of 10. Uh, so here we go. And again, I wanna try and keep, my, now this is, this is the first time I've done this, but you wanna keep your knees over your toes. So, and it's a squat. So you wanna stick your, stick your butt out and then, so that would be one. I think that was pretty good form. And oh yeah, slow. And I should also mention that as you're going down, you wanna put more weight on your hurt leg. So that would be my left leg. And then on the way back up, you wanna put more of the, of the drive into your healthy leg. So down, you wanna put a little more uh, weight into your hurt leg and then come back up, if for, in my case, with my right leg. So what is that? Is that two? <laughs> so this would be three. And you wanna make sure that the comfort level, like you're not feeling any sharp pain and that the pain is not getting worse in your runner's knee. Um, again, I gotta keep my knees back, keep my knees back, that's the key. So, and last one down. Okay, wow. <laughs> <Whew. laughs> that was a burn. Oh man, oh man, okay. Here's the slant board. Hopefully you can see that kind of up close there. There's the, uh, the, the uh, sandpaper to get a good grip for your feet right there. And then there's the back where it attaches, okay. I'll get you some better shots uh, in the coming weeks as I continue to test this out. And here's the deal. What do I mean by, and by the way, the pain while I was using this just now was a one, maybe a one, definitely not a two. I barely felt it in my knee. We'll see how the knee feels tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm incredibly excited. And here's the deal. What do I mean by the title of the vlog, running injuries and physical therapy is a gift. If you have the right mindset, I would not be able to communicate with all of you about everything that I am learning at physical therapy and through everyone, and you know, you know who you are who told me first about the slant board, uh, but then everyone that's encouraging me to continue to research all these different uh, tools, recovery tools, and strengthening tools out there to make sure I can arrive in Boston 2021 healthy and New York City 2020 healthy, okay? So that's what I mean. Like injuries, they're hard. They're, it's no fun, but it's an opportunity to learn and hopefully help other runners out there because I know you're out there who are suffering from runner's knee as well because it's the little tips and tricks that makes the difference for, be for becoming a healthy, healthy runner. So question of the day, uh, what have you learned in your physical therapy experience that you can share with all of us down in the comments? Like what is a little, uh, and it could be for any injury out there, whether it's um, Achilles tendon issues, plantar fasciitis, um, well, you don't really go to physical therapy for stress fractures, but you might, I guess, if there's a, an issue with a soft tissue that's causing the stress fractures. But that's the question of the day. What have you gleaned from physical therapy that you could share with all of us down below in the comments? That's what I'm sharing today, all about the slant board. I am beyond excited. Now, I just got to find a place to store it in, the, in, our, in our huge house. Okay, also, this bag from Dick's Sporting Goods, I decided I'm going to show this to you tomorrow because I know the vlog's going a little long, but um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with these in tomorrow's vlog. All right, there you go, everyone. Thank you for being here, and we're going to get through this together. We are going to get through this together. All right, everyone, we're tossing it back on the right to uh, my first physical therapy session about two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now and that'll be on the right and on the left uh, we'll throw it back to just a discussion about injuries in general that we've had on the channel in the past six months okay seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow